Greetings and blessings from a sacred pool deep in the forest where almost no humans probably ever go except me, where the dragonflies and the trout and the bear and the birds call home. And I wanted to make this video to you for you today to to offer a prayer for recalibration. Uh, if, if you're wondering what's in my hair, that's Penny Royal to keep some of the bugs off. Recalibration. So I was just laying here on my belly and putting my hands in the water, and before that, my feet, and asking Mother to help me to recalibrate my energies to keep pace with the increased frequency, the quickening, the acceleration of consciousness on Earth, and to allow for the gentle dissolution of the old constructs within my consciousness, which continue to support uh, a matrix that is unloving, a consciousness, uh, a way of living on Earth that is unloving. So this place uh, is uh, sacred to me. Uh, it is pretty remote, uh, and it's a place where I come to be in stillness, to receive. Um, I don't usually take my phone with me into the forest, beca but because of the nature of this remote place, uh, it's one of the reasons why I do bring it when I come here alone. Uh, so anyway, recalibration, coming into a higher order, a higher octave of consciousness, of loving mm, presence with the life force energy, of acceptance of life without doing battle, of remembrance of my uh, ultimate oneness with all of life, with you, with all humans, with the trees and the birds and the grasses and the herbs, the penny royal, <laughs> um, the clover that's all around me here. Let's see if I can show you some. I don't know if you can see any here. Um, all of life. So I feel like that's really mm, what's coming through right now is that this energetic quickening is a quickening of the dismantling of some of the framework that has held our consciousness in 3D. So I'm not talking about 3D structures, I'm talking about internal framework. I'm talking about what is within our psyches and our consciousness. And um, it's subtle. And for those with no awareness of such things, those deeply steeped in the matrix. And we were all born into that, huh? Some souls may have come just for the mission of helping to dismantle. Um, but most of us have had a lot of incarnations here and have those constructs uh, deeply mm, locked in, we could say. I see almost like a cement basement. Like you can dismantle a whole house and some areas are harder to dismantle than others. But when it comes to a cemented basement, that takes a lot. Uh, it takes a long time, and um, there's a lot of resistance with the cement. So this is what we are really about, and what we're, we're doing is we are dismantling, dissolving constructs, a structure within the psyche, within the consciousness, that's deeply steeped in fear, separation, attack. And um, those who are on the leading edge, whether they've come here specifically for that mission and are not sort of earth souls for a long time, or whether they have worked through a lot in other incarnations and now are rising up, and I would consider myself more in that category for sure, um, we are all um, participating at the leading edge of supporting this dismantling, dissolving, whatever you want, whatever analogy you want to use. Excuse me, I was blocking the 
the cam the mic I think um, we are we're at the leading edge of doing that and so our role is um, really to recalibrate with each and every incoming um, wave of light, uh, quickening of frequency, so that we don't get bowled over, so that we c keep coming into presence with our energies, uh, that we may hold that light, that we may listen deeply and in presence, I'm watching the dragonflies, uh, to what guidance is offering us, so that we may be more able to forgive, let go, let God, so that we may attune more to the frequency of joy, the God frequency, rather than the fear, um, waves of fear porn that's just, you know, being pumped out in on the planetary sphere right now by humans. Um, so that's those are my reflections for you today here at my sacred pool in the forest. Um, may this serve to invite you to a deeper presence within yourself, um, a, an easier and more grace-filled capacity to recalibrate and uh, up-level your frequency, pacing with Gaia, pacing with what's available to us now, that we may gently but rapidly and effectively, efficiently dismantle those old constructs within us which do not serve love. So that's my share for today. May you find peace in your heart and joy in your heart. And may you find a place in nature where you can recalibrate with grace and ease and presence. Much love and I will visit with you again soon.